Alright everyone, welcome back again to more Trails of Code Seal 3. We are currently enjoying the free day we're given by pretty much checking in with everyone else right now and that's currently what we're doing. I'm staring at the uh, behold inside of our good friend Valimar whom I'm going to speak to right now. If I can get the option to. The new Meister candidate Mint was it? She may be clumsy at times but she is talented. Most importantly, she has a great personality. She's the type of person who could lighten up the mood in any group. <laughs> For sure. Alright, well that takes care of him. I thought it would be a longer conversation. We got someone else up here we need to speak to. Professor Schmidt, I take it? Yes. Huh, I see. Professor, is this... It's a piece of a giant ion that appeared in Sutherland. I had the RMP bring me everything they were able to collect. Irving told them they shouldn't bother me with this, but who is he to decide? He must have really forced them. So, what were, you, what were your findings? I can't do an accurate analysis with a piece this small, though I can say one thing. From an engineering standpoint, the ion moved strangely. Strangely? The alloy developed by the society. Cradaligan, was it? It's much more superior material than the special steel used for the Panzer Soldats. But according to my testing, it's nowhere close to being strong enough to support such a big body, let alone the fact that it blocked a blade made from Zumerian ore. Ultimately, I got through, but yes. According to Valimar, some kind of power was moving that machine. Very well. If we're lucky, we may even meet the conditions to start it up. Well, the experiment's over, so whatever. What do they mean by that anyway? Huh. I'll research as much as I can with this small sample. You should go home today and make sure to keep up your health. That way, we'll be able to get good data from the test. A test at the keep. Are we doing it tomorrow? Of course, I've already added it as a mandatory request. I've already counted the students as participants as you requested. Understood. Thank you, Professor Schmidt. Huh. I'll go on. I'm busy. Are you now? Mint, was it? I expected her to be more useful considering she is Makarov's niece, but skills and knowledge aside, her carelessness is absolutely inexcusable. Not to mention she uses all of my data while consulting me and she's never once apologized for her transgressions. Unbelievable. That's very funny because I thought that would, be, that would be one of the reasons why you, expect, you respected her. There you go. I guess not. Said the pot to the kettle. Looks like even Professor Schmidt isn't immune to the wrath of Mint's clumsiness. Alright, well hey, not many people are. Mint has sure livened up things around here. Anyway, training at the keep, I'll need to be extra careful having Yuna and Kurt with me. Someone dropped money. A 50 mirror coin. Hey there, didn't realize you were in here. Hey there, first year. Which hand is the coin in? Left or right? Oh. oh. Did I surprise you? Sorry about that. Thanks for picking it up. Oh, here. Came here to get some coffee, but ended up dropping my change on the floor. I'm just surprised to see how common orbital vending machines have become already. I think they are only common here at the branch campus. Oh, could be. Anyway, I gotta go run some errands. See you later. Do you need something from me? I just wanted to talk to you about something. <laughs> wow. Come to think of it, they are kind of similar. I shouldn't bother him. I better get going. I checked everywhere I needed to. I'll leave from the main gate once I finish all my business here. Ah, toot toot. Wait. It's getting late. Maybe I should head back to the dorm. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm good. Turn to the door. Uh, 
Ah, Instructor Reen. Are you headed back as well? Oh, hi, Kurt. Yeah, I just finished my errands for the day. You all done with your club activities? Yes, we finished just recently. I plan to return to the dorm early today and fit in some sword practice. Glad to hear you're working hard. That said, don't forget you've got Panzer Zodat training and field exercises next week. Even though you've got a free day tomorrow, don't push yourself too hard. Ah, don't worry, I won't. That advice rings a bit hollow coming from someone patrolling the campus after school hours, though. Ah, touche. <laughs> <laughs> well then, Instructor Reen. I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Yeah, good night. Oh, speaking of tomorrow, I might call Class 7 together at some point. Could you keep that in mind just in case? Oh, really? That's fine with me, but what for? It has something to do with Professor Schmidt. I'll fill you in on the details tomorrow. Yuna and Altina, too. Oh, it's Kurt. And Instructor Reen. Hey Yuna, Altina, are you guys headed back to the dorm too? Yes, we just ran into each other. It's unusual to see you two together. Well, what sort of guy talk were you two having here alone? Nothing all that important. <laughs> Don't worry about it, there was just something I had to tell him. Perfect timing though, you two. You see... What sort of steamy secrets do you think the guys are keeping from us, Allie? Unknown, but I do detect some steam in their conversation. There was no steam at all. However, for the sake of Class 7, I think we should become- we should welcome improved relationships no matter the kind. You're right. Uh, I just remembered, we both have to go shopping. Come on, Allie. I'm not sure I like the look they were giving us. <laughs> Though I am glad to see how close the two of them have gotten lately. Yeah, me too. Altina's a bit of a special case, but it seems she started to change little by little. As her classmate, please take care of her. Of course, we'll all take care of each other. Well then, if you'll excuse me, I need to do some shopping on my own. I'll pass on what you told me to the others later. Thanks, that'll be a load off my mind. It seems like the students all grew a bit closer after our field exercises. Unfortunately, it seems like Yuna's still keeping a certain distance from me though. All I can do is be patient. I bet you her closeness with him won't happen till near end of the game. Oh, that should do it. I think I'm finally starting to get the hang of my duties as an instructor. Ah, forgot to have dinner. It's past 8 p.m. already. I'd rather not make Selston go out of his way to cook for me this late. The tavern should still be open, though. I guess it wouldn't hurt to eat out once in a while. Oh, well, we're gonna travel around for a bit. There's a star. Something important. Oh, over here. No, over here. No. Is it further down? No, let me talk to everyone first. Uh, doo -doo -doo. That's so weird. Yep, the star is actually, yep. Who else is here? Yuna and Altina. Apparently, Leo was giving Allie some one-on-one -on -one swim lessons today. Honestly, I was kind of worried about how Allie would do in swimming club. But, uh, I guess I got all worried for nothing. How about you? Phew, I'm exhausted. I feel like my whole body is going to ache tomorrow. Alright, well. You'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine. That soreness will go away the next day. Muse. Instructorine, you knew I was all alone, didn't you? <laughs> Quite the scandalous one, aren't you? Oh no, nice try, but you're not catching me in this web. Are you studying right now, Muse? 
Indeed I am, with a particular focus on your art history lessons, instructor. I see. Well, let me know if I can help you out with anything you don't understand. <laughs> I knew talking to her would be a big mistake, but took a shot anyway. Let's go down. Let's see. Over here? Oh, okay. Sure. It's the bath. I've got some time now, so maybe I'll wash up a bit. Ah, there's nothing like a bath to re reinvigorate you. I don't really run into many of our students here, though I suppose there just aren't that many in the first place. I wouldn't mind being able to have a real talk with some of them. Oh. Oh, Kurt. Oh, hey, Kurt. Hope it's alright that I'm here. Instructor Reen, should I come back another time? <laughs> no, it's fine. Come on in. Very well. I shall do just that. I see. Master Yung Kafai. I had heard the name from my father, but didn't realize he was your master. Yeah, he's also known as the Sword Hermit. He founded the Eight Leaves One Blade School, and he has trained quite a few swordsmen. But you wouldn't know it from how friendly and jovial he is. His favorite thing to do was drinking in the hot springs after training. I see. Sounds like the opposite of my father. I suppose one might say the way of the sword has many paths. I think you could go as far as to say each individual swordsman has their own unique path. I'm sure your father, your uncle, and your brother each have their own paths too. Indeed. Though the three may seem similar at first glance, they are all quite different. Though they do have similar physiques. Your physique suits you pretty well. It's pretty close to mine actually. It's a good body type for swordsmanship that emphasizes speed, which is why you do so well with dual blades. I understand that, but given the nature of the Vanda School of Swordsmanship... Um, sorry. I went back to that topic again. Did we bond? Yes, we did. Ah, it's steam. My apologies for making you listen to my complaints. I'm glad we were able to talk about swordsmanship. <laughs> I'd be more happy to do it again whenever you like. Anyway, tomorrow's your free day, so don't worry yourself out training and be sure to get ready to bed. Yes, understood. That's it? Come on, should be more. Alright, did I miss anyone upstairs? I thought I got everyone, hold on. Oh, there are quite a few more. Like, quite a, psh, a lot more, in fact. Hold on. Hold on. Stark, what's up? I see. Though it may seem inefficient in a Blitzkrieg attack, it, it's actually essential. <laughs> There's a lot more to combat logistics than I thought. Looks like he's brushing up on his studying. But this is... Oh, hello, Instructor Reed. Ah, sorry to break your focus. You're a pretty hard worker, aren't you, Stark? Looks like you've blown right past where we left off in class. <laughs> Turns out my expertise as a merchant's son actually comes in handy around here. That said, I'm still not sure if I'm set on taking over the family business. I suppose you must have had a lot on your mind to join a military academy. But Stark, I've been wondering, why choose the branch campus over the main? How do you mean? I shouldn't really say this, but the main campus has a history of success and achievement that we don't. In terms of your future, it would be much more advantageous to go there than here. And with your grades getting in, would have been a breeze, no? <laughs> You're a pretty sharp instructor, but is it alright if we talk about this some other time? Of course, let me know when you think the time is right. Okay, well, we added another note to his thing. Who else is here? I spoke to Altina, Yuna, who's the other one here? Ah, Gustav. Madam Hmm, it's pretty hard. I see he brought his sticks home with him. Instructor Reen? Oh, sorry to bother you. Looks like you can't wait for Modern Music Club, huh? Ah, yeah, I guess you could say that. I'm the only complete beginner there, so I want to practice whenever I get the chance. You see, I'm glad you're really getting into it. I don't need to worry about this, but I try not to go overboard with the noise. Oh, of course. Alright, who are, are the other two here? Oh, of course. Kyrie and uh, Pablo. Wow, rock music is just so cool. Right? Feel free to transfer clubs if you want. <laughs> Thanks, but I'll have to pass. I haven't gotten what I want out of the tea ceremony club yet. Oh, how so? Well, there aren't many Eastern martial artists who hone their focus through tea ceremonies, which means it's the perfect way to hone one's manliness. 
That's why I need to study it until I'm the manliest man around. F fair enough. Oh, right, it's almost time for that radio show. Radio show? I... There's this really interesting show on Radio Trista. Fancy listening together. I'm sure you'll like it. Okay, sure, I'd love to. <laughs> Fans of Aben time sprung up there, sprung up here in no time too. All right, well, I think we're good. I was tr trying to get more, uh, what you call, character notes. All right, who can I? Uh, Barney's Tavern is the main place. What about? I haven't been here in a while. Hey, Rachel. Oh, good evening. Looking for material for class. You work so hard and so late. That and I'm patrolling the, and I'm patrolling the area. I spot some students roaming around late at night before. <laughs> I'll let you know if I see any. By the way, what do you think about my store? Well, the variety of books is good, and anything you don't have, you can always order. It's come in handy more than once. I see, so it's not the variety. Sales have actually been kind of bad this month. It's probably Marcus's fault. His stuffed animals are really cute and his new ones fly off the shelves. I'm so jealous. I mean, he's a real threat. Hmm, I need to come up with something new. Ah, I see. He's like your rival. Kind of reminds me of Hugo and Becky. I wonder how they're doing. Probably people I'll see you later. What do you have? Sports Compendium. How much do I have? Enough to buy that. Proverbs with Wind. Pocket Size Book. Imperial Chronicle. I Do I own one? No, I don't. Take one. Sports Compendium is for Yuna. Alright, why don't I give it to her now? I forgot how to gift. Oh, wait, no, it's this. Thank you message, no. Wait. It might be under, yep, here, gifts. <laughs> Dummy. Event. Sports compendium. Use. Found Yuna and gave her sports compendium. This is a book about Erebonian sports. Yeah, you seem to be good at sports. I thought you might like reading about them. Well, I do have a certain interest in them, but... Um, thanks. Strength increased by 10. That was a little bit. I was hoping for more, but... Alright. Alright. Well, oh, wait. Hmm. Oh, look at all those people that can cook now. Beautiful. Um, I guess we can go to... Boutique? Lapin? What you got for me? Uh... Da -da. Red hair for Reen, a thousand. Alright, pastel coat. It'll decrease my stuff. I kind of don't want that. I think we're good. Alright, what about... Oh, inventory is looking pretty good this month. Guess it was worth all the trouble I went through. People are buying up this new grenade like crazy. Let's see. Three more cases. Ugh, my joints are acting up again. Mama said it was growing pains, but I don't want to get any taller. I need to buy new clothes and everything. So she really is just a child. Makes me scared to think how she'll be when she's older. Oh, perfect. Uh, wanna what buy I, something? What can I get from you? Silver Star, Stilettos. Steel Edge. She got that crypt already. Prevents Death Blow. I don't have one of these? And then what's this? Prevents Stat Down, Proxy Puppet. What can I exchange here? Oh no, not that. Not that kind of exchange. Come on, buy some more! I got some good stuff. No. Elegant scrunchie. A scrunchie with a mature appeal can be given to Claire as a gift. Requires a holy chain. I have I just bought that. Um right, let me get this now. 
And now buy myself another. Come on, buy some more. I got yeah, some I will. good stuff. I will. Hold on, I will. Buy myself another holy chain. Just in case. Alright, cool, cool. Hmm? Done already? Yes, I am. Shining palm droplet. What is this? There you go. You got a good eye. I just got this in too. Ah, it just caught my interest. Is it some sort of rare item? More or less, it's pretty rare. I ever get my hands on it. I only got one more in stock, so I'm gonna jack up the price. You want it, you better bring it bring in that mirror. Wow, you're a good businesswoman. But I guess that only shows how valuable it is. I should probably stop by again. Wow, ten thousand. She jacked it up completely. Alright, well, while I have this, let's give this girl her elegant scrunchie. I should send Major Claire a gift. Hmm, I hope she'll like it. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. That's so cool. She's almost maxed out. Alright, that's cool. Where else have I haven't been to in a while before I join? Uh, let me see. Is there any place I haven't... Hobby shop, or radio station. Why is the radio station not in the... Uh, what's near... I'll go to Riverside and go to the radio station. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Hmm. Here we go. What's up, monk? Well, later. Oh, you're going home, Lindley? I was about to start recording, so it'd be nice to have someone here to keep an eye on things. I bet it would, but my work hours are over, so... Bye-bye. Oh, my own again. Who knew the life of a director would be so lonely? Hey, Monk. You doing okay? Oh, Reen. No, I'm... I'm fine. I'm great. Totally fine. Fine, really. Just fine. Lonely always goes home right away. It's not like I feel helpless without her or anything, but... I do wish she'd be a little more help with the show. Making a show like that is a lot to handle, so no one person could handle everything alone. Well, that's, uh, good. Can't wait for the next episode. <laughs> of course, yeah, I'll give him my all. You sure about that, dude? You you sound like you can't handle it. Alright, well, hey, best of luck. Oh, place the fish. Oh, I see fish in the water. Let's see if we can get a new fish. There. Got a bite. <laughs> nice. This looks new. This looks new. This looks new! I got it! Rainbow Trout. That is new. Wonderful. Let me do it again. There! Got a bite! Another one. This is promising! Nah, it's a small one. Not bad at all. Kangiru, I have this one, right? All right? One more time. Let's see if I get another new one. There. Got a bite. I actually like fishing now because it's so much this easier. This is promising. Ah, it's an easier one. That's fine. I'm good. Well, it's not bad. Kasagin. It's something. All right, let's go to... Fishing dude. Alright. I finished cleaning. We're all set for closing time, old man. Good work. You're getting better at this. Your future is bright, young man. Well, duh, I am your grandson after all. <laughs> and a fine young grandson you are at that. But no matter how good you get, there's always someone better, isn't there? I heard Cheryl beat you again. D no, I, I almost beat her at arm wrestling yesterday. You'll beat her someday, dude. How you doing, dude? Zach can never seem to beat Cheryl. But boy, don't get frustrated. You need to stand tall. That's it? Okay. Uh, shop. What can we get here? Kin Kinako Peki. Uh, is there something I don't have here? Maybe... Can I exchange? No? 
Can I sell fish? Trade. Kasagin. Silver earring. Mmm. Globby fat. I have 36 of this. 28 heart powder. Hearty powder. Beast flesh. I have 17. Uh huh. Interesting. Okay. All right, we're good on that. Where else can I go before we start heading over to the main thing? Uh, to do. Let's go to the chapel. Hold on. Where are we? How close are we to it? Oh, and there's a mark there. Up front. Tatiana. Guys, please guide me with the light of salvation. Tatiana, what's she doing here so late? Um, Tatiana? <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. No, I'm sorry for losing my cool. It's okay to pray, but why are you doing it so late? Is something wrong? Um, well, I lost the latest issue. You lost a book? It's more like I think someone took it by mistake. There was another book in its stead. Ah, I see. Ah, it's a quest. Let's go. Say, so, Tatiana, do you want me to help you look for the owner? Are you sure? I really appreciate it. I can't not help one of my students in need. But come to think of it, how do you mistake one book for another? What happened exactly? When you look at the book, I think you'll understand. The cover of the book says Carnegie Books and Games. I see, so the store put that cover on the book. And they put the same cover on your book, huh? Yes, exactly. In the evening, I went to Reset, or Rossetti. I think the mistake happened while I was cleaning up my table. Had I noticed then and there, it would have been fine, but I only noticed after I got back to the dorms. Have you gone back to the Rossetti yet? Yes. I asked the owner if there were any books in the lost and found, but that probably means the person who took your book hasn't noticed it yet. Was that the only person you asked? Uh, well, I'm really shy and it's really hard for me to talk to people. The owner was a woman, so that made it a little easier, but I have a hard time talking to strangers. Ah, I see. Well, I guess I have a better understanding of the situation. Tatiana, may I take that book from you? Yes. The title of the book is Take Me to the Field. The first course of action is to go to Rossetti and talk to the owner. Tatiana, can you wait here? Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Sister Rosine. Hello, Rene. Doing your nightly rounds? <laughs> I feel safer already. You flatter me. I'm just keeping an eye on my way to dinner, that's all. You seem like you're pretty busy though. Will you be heading to bed soon? Not for a while. I have to organize the scriptures and then I'll work on deciphering those books. The father doesn't know my true identity, so I'll be doing that part in secret. Anyway, rest well tonight, Reen. Take care now. She's always up at the crack of dawn doing her chores too. Does she ever sleep? By the way, Reen, I finished deciphering the black records that he gave me. Thank you. This is a big help. Sweet. Alright. I got that. Now we gotta go to Rossetti, right? Uh, da, 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 da. Welcome. Will you be eating here today? I want to ask you something. Reen explained the situation with Tatiana. Do you happen to know who this book may belong to? I see. In that case, I'm guessing it's Mr. Kane, the farmer. He was resting here after he delivered some vegetables. He was telling me about an interesting book he just bought. It's a romance novel, perfect for a farmer like me. The title of the book was Take Me to the Field. I guess there's no doubt. At this time of day, he's usually drinking at the tavern. Sorry for the trouble, but if you could take it to him, I'd really appreciate it. Sure, no problem. Did you say her name is Tatiana? I'm doing my best to make the students of Thoris feel at home, but apparently I haven't been doing a good job. No, it's more of a, her own personal issue. But I'll let her know that you said that. <laughs> Thank you. I should head over to the tavern to look for Mr. Kane. I guess I'll have to hold off on dinner for a while. We've been doing that for a while already, dude. You'll be fine. No, oh, hold on a second. Wait. Yes, yes. Let's buy this. Get this in our repertoire. How hard is that to make? 
Uh, we need a sorry grains and beast flesh. I can cook it. Yuna's great at it, and so is I want to say Laura. Why is it I'll require something that I can't buy yet from the market? All right, we gotta go to Barney's Tavern Inn. Ah, right here. Oh, do you need something from me? Yeah, I was wondering if you know anything about this book. Gave Kane the book with an unknown owner. This is... Take me to the field. I bought this yesterday. That must mean... Kane took a closer look at the book he had taken earlier. Spring Breeze Love Song. What is this? It's a romance novel, but with barely any female characters. I never confirmed with Tatiana, but this is her book, right? Um, so can I explain the situation? Rina explained the situation and Kane felt sorry for his mistake. The young man met with Tatiana to apologize and return her book to her. I'm sorry about the mix-up. Oh, no, it's... Would you accept my vegetables as a form of apology? <laughs> and I'm sorry to you too, instructor. Hell yeah! <laughs> thank you. Th thank you. Thank goodness he turned out to be nice. My father always told me never trust strangers. He always said that men are beasts and demons. That sounds a little extreme. You didn't take him seriously, did you? I do find that I'm taking him with a grain of salt. But until I came to this school, I lived a rather sheltered life. Ah, yes, you, you were raised in a noble house. True, but it's only a small house in the Croatian countryside. Ah, well, you could practically say the same for me. I'm surprised your father sent you here by yourself. Oh, <laughs> well, it was really hard to convince him at first, but when I told him that I wanted to see the world, he accepted it. Oh, your dad seems very nice. Yes, I am grateful for all he has done for me, which is also why I believe that I need to change. I see. I'm happy to see that you're really taking everything into consideration. Let me just say that you simply need to relax a little and take it slowly. Instructor Reen. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. That book you bought, Spring Breeze Love Song? It's a romance novel, right? I yes. It's the second book by the up-and-coming writer, Mrs. Dorothy. Miss Dorothy. Dorothy? Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. She was part of the literature club with Emma. She debuted as a novelist, but I didn't think her I'd see hear her name here. I heard her first book was rather unique as well. Well, I should be happy that she's doing well. Alright. I think we're good to go now. Alright, let's go. End the day. What up, Barney? Well, I certainly am hungry. I still want to walk around tonight. Eating dinner will bring Reen's evening walk to an end. Let's go. Oh, Instructor Reen, it's rare to see you at this time of night. Yeah, I suppose so. Are you still open? Yes, of course. Please have a seat. Oh, you're here too, huh? Why, hello there, Randy. Welcome. Randolph, were you at the campus this whole time? Yeah, I had to take care of something. You not have dinner yet? Not yet. I was cleaning up the lost and lost track of time. Why is this not voiced? He's a little different, but he does remind me of him. Hey, Schwarzer. You're old enough now, right? Want to have a drink with me? Huh? Oh, so you were training in the key. Yeah, I figured as long as Shirley and Ouroboros are prancing around, I better shake the rust off the old combat instincts. Um, you were part of the Red Constellation, right? I heard the story from someone in Zephyr. Yep, our groups were the two top dogs in the Jaeger world. Sylphide, last I saw her, she was still just a little girl. 
<laughs> she was part of your old Class 7, right? I was surprised by how much smaller and younger than me she was when I first saw her. I didn't realize you two had met before. So eventually, you ended up leaving the Jaeger Corps and joining the Crossbow Guardian Force. And after that, you joined the Special Support Section, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's my team right there. Besides our leader, none of us were actual police or investigators, though. Just a motley bunch of misfits. But we got along well and made a really good team. Living together, we were almost like family. I see. Hey, no need to make that face. Though the SSS is split up now, we're still connected. Uh, in our hearts, I mean. <laughs> I understand how you feel. Did he happen to mention me at all? He didn't say who, but he told me someone got him good. Someone dignified and honorable. Yet sad. I see. Guess he's not a detective for nothing. Ah, sorry. Hey, Schwarzer. When I talked with you after school, you seemed shocked for some reason. I got the impression you mistook me for someone else. Something about the way you talk kind of reminds me of him. One of my classmates from class 7, he was a good friend, a fierce rival, and an awful role model. Though when it comes to being sarcastic, slacker, he certainly had you beat. You make it sound like I'm one of those too, but I get it now. Schwarzer. I know this might seem like it's out of the blue, but would it be alright if I called you Reen? Huh? And you can call me Randy. That's a lot better than Randolph. Everyone back in Crossbell calls me that. Oh. <laughs> I think I might have unintentionally built up a wall between us. But as long as we both work here at this school, we're comrades. I'm sure my friends would let that much slide. Randolph. I think I built up a wall too. I'm looking forward to working with you, Randy. Me too, Reen. All right then, you can drink more, yeah? The party's just getting started. Sorry, but I'm still a lightweight when it comes to drinking. I should probably stop here. Ew, those were some good drinks. Let's do this again sometime. Maybe after our next payday, huh? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, that was pretty tough. I never drank alcohol back when I was a student, but... You know there was interest on this, right? How much do you suppose you really owe me after half a year? Oh, man. What kind of racket are you running here anyway? I thought you were supposed to be a good kid. Well, there's this one second year who's taught me a thing or two about making money. To be honest, it feels kind of lonely to think that everything between us is completely settled and done with. <sighs> I swear, the things I do for love. All right, all right, you'll get your stupid interest someday, maybe. I wish I could have drank with him just once, but I'm sure if he heard me say that, he just called me spoiled. Those days sure were fun. I couldn't drink with Elliot the other day, but once class seven is all together again, Oh. Hey there, Reen. Haven't seen you since February. Machias looks so different. Machias! I know it's a little late, but are you good to talk now? You look like you've been out drinking. Maybe a bit too much. Yeah, you caught me. I just got back. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. We are bold enough now, after all. I've gone drinking with some people from work myself. In fact, let's go out together next time we meet up. With the others, too, of course. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I'm guessing you're pretty busy with your work at the... Inspectorate? Oh, it's certainly challenging. 
I have no doubt your job is the same. Like I thought, this job has shown me the seedy underbelly of the government. Half the time, it's very fulfilling work. The other half? My hands are tied and I'm completely powerless. That sounds pretty serious. <laughs> well, it's the same for you, right? Ellie had told me about your trip to Sutherland the other day. Movement from Ouroboros, government schemes. It seems things are getting pretty fishy over there. Yeah, I guess by this point I'm just used to all that stuff. We'll be leaving for our field exercises next week, so hopefully I can figure out more then. <laughs> well, about that. I may actually have a business trip that takes me out there with you. Seriously? How do you know? I haven't even heard the location yet. I got the info secondhand, so I can't completely vouch for it. But if it does turn out to be true... Makiev, you coming? If you're here, come out with us! Let's go already! Reiner, hold on just a minute! Makiev, come on, we're gonna leave without you! Sorry, I'll call you back later. <laughs> no problem. They'll tell us where our field exercises are being held tomorrow, so we can talk then. Got it. Good night, Reen. I'm starting to sober up a little. Maybe I'll go take a quick shower before bed. Tomorrow's looking like a busy day with the briefing and all. Here are today's requests. I've taken the liberty to summarize everything both the town and school would like you to see too. Celestin had intervened the request list. Of course. Thanks Celestin and sorry for making you put all that together. Well no trouble at all. Besides it was at the principal's behest anyway. From now on I shall provide such a list for you every free day. If you require anything of me please feel free to ask anytime. I will. Thanks. Alright, let's see what we've got. Alright, we got Einhell Keep Trial Level 2, as usual. Professor Schmidt, I have a new trial ready to keep in the keep. All members of Class 7 will be participating. Report to control room as soon as you've got finish as soon as you finish your errands. Alright. Present whereabouts. Old Lady Chammy. I bought a gift for someone, but I dropped it somewhere. I can't for the life of me remember where. Could you help me find it? Come see me for more details. I'll be out and about town today. Okay, and pocket watch repair. Mayor Haddock, I'd like to repair a watch, but I've run into a bit of a problem. If you can spare the time to help, please come see me at my home. Looks like two requests from town and one from Professor Schmidt. I'll need everyone from class seven to join in for that keep trial. It may take a while, so I'd better save it for last. Alrighty, no hangovers for me. Time to get this day started. Rain got a message on his Arcus too. Who's sending me mail? On free days, Rain will occasionally receive mail from his fellow members of the original Class 7 on his Arcus 2. I'll tune access, yep, okay. Alright, I'll be doing that in the next video, guys, because I'm gonna have to end it here for today. Thank you all for watching. I'm honestly hoping, since we just had a conversation with it with Randy, that uh, we get to see the Triple S again. I don't know if it's in this game or maybe in part 4, but I do know they do make an appearance again. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to see them sometime soon, or if not, in the next installment. But either way, I'm excited. So if anything else, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all for watching.